MLB Network right after this. Now back to the top of the lineup, stepping in, Randall McHugh. Right fielder. Randall. Third baseman in tight, protecting McHugh. the bunt, the first pitch. One, one, Drops one. one down here, and he'll try to beat it out. And a barehanded pickup, you got him. And that's a huge play to keep the leadoff man off base. Well, he was planning that before he even got in the box, and he got it down, but it wasn't quite good enough to put him on board. Your Adrian Chavez has come into the ball game now as he takes the over as the new third baseman. Now playing third base, number 13. Adrian. Ready now, Mark Marchand. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Now batting. The seven. Here's a slider to start things out, but it misses by a few inches or so. It's ball one. Now the 1 0. Is taken strike one. You can clearly see that the hitter didn't like that strike call, and his manager, he didn't like it either, as he's given the umpire an earful from that dugout. A ball and two strikes. I got count one and two. strikes for the third time it's always nice to keep a guy that has good wheels off base and that's just what they did right there big strikeout keep that guy off the base path Joe McMahon. This year will take strike one on the fastball here. No balls and a strike. And here in the extra frames, he's just now coming up on pitch number 100. Yeah, Matty, this is unbelievable. For him to be so economical with his pitches, to pitch into extra innings, this reminds me of the 91 World Series Jack Morris John Smoltz battle. Boy, Dero, you touched on it. This is the days of Jack Morris, Roger Clemens, Pedro Martinez, Brett Saberhagen, guys that wanted to finish what they start extra innings that's just a little added incentive the wind up and the 0 2 fouled away into the wind up with the 0 2 and another one Strikeout number 17 in the ball game as he keeps racking them up. One, two, three, go the Dodgers. We are still scoreless. Stepping up now, number 37. Now fourth plate appearance number for him tonight, and why not? He's been in control all game long. Here's the first pitch. Grounder down the line at third. Possible winning run on first. One man away. Skied into straightaway right. McHugh is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Into the box now, Drew Vega. No hits in three tries so far. He struck out once. 
First delivery to him on the way. In there, strike one. Hey, I'm surprised he went to that spot in his own. This guy's known for being a down and in hitter. Don't expect too many pitches going in that spot. Now the pitch. Late decision to swing that time, and as a result, it's 0-2. I got to say, his command of the corners in this start has been pretty exceptional. He's mixed east and west really well, and it's a big reason why he's had success. And he fouls this one off. Trying to send him packing for the second time. And it's fouled away. Struck him out. 18 strikeouts for him now. Wow, we've seen some really impressive pitching in this one. You could say these lineups have been anemic, but I always like to give credit to pitching and defense, and they've been fantastic all game long. Stepping into the box, Ivan Quintana. The left fielder. First pitch on its way. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Hit out towards second. Williams has it. Throw on to first, two gone. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Next for the Dodgers, Cristobal Chavez. Cristobal. Here's the first pitch to him. And he gets the call that time for strike number one. Hey. Oh, one is a circle change that's over for a called strike. Hey, that's obviously the game plan against this guy. Bury it in on his hands. He finds himself down 0-2 now. He doesn't know if he's coming back in there or going breaking stuff down the way. Fouled off. The windup and the 0-2. Inside as he might be trying to set him up here one and two. Well, this is an approach we've seen him use effectively lately. Set up the inside and then get him out with pitches away. Three. Strike three. 19 strikeouts for him now. Dodgers down in order. And this is still a nothing, nothing ball game. Well, we watched a really solid starting pitching performance, kept the opposition at bay, and as a result, he's our top player of the game. Yeah, probably the easiest player of the game decision we'll have to make all year. He got some help along the way from his defense, but all in all, this was his show. And he winds up in the history books with a no-hitter. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and our excellent crew, this is Matt Vaskersian saying so long. You've been watching the National League Championship Series.